Retina. Bob Clouser's Foxy Red. Clouser, Retina on a size 4, Daiichi X452. Who? Using 6 aught tan uni thread. We're just going to start our thread right at the eye. Wrap back to just before the midway point. And we're going to move the forward the thread forward a little bit, creating a little bump. That's going to hold our eye from rolling back on us. Take one loose wrap. We're going to hold the eye steady with our fingers for the first couple wraps. Then we're just going to figure eight over the eyes. And here's a trick my buddy showed me for anchoring these eyes down. We're just going to go underneath the eyes, keeping the thread on top of the hook. And cinch all those thread wraps down. And then anchor those wraps in front of the eye. And there you go, you have a bulletproof base on your eyes. You don't have to glue that. So we're just using a red foxtail for the top. We want to look for lighter shade of fox. So we want the fly to be slightly lighter on the bottom. So we're just going to use a very basic pet brush. We're going to use this to pull out the under fur. Hold it by the tips and just pull that under fur out. Okay, trick to tying in fox. Everyone's got their own trick. Here's how I do it. I'm going to come at a 45 degree angle on the hook point, angle that hair up, take one loose wrap, and then as I tighten, I'm going to let that hair roll right on top of the hook shank. Take a couple, two loose wraps, and now I'm just going to cinch it down really tightly. Right in front of the barbell eyes we tied on. Move the thread in back of those eyes. Take a couple, four, five, six wraps right behind the eyes. And now we're just kind of spiral open wraps all the way down to right at the end of the shank. Once we get to the end of the shank, make a couple, three or four wraps right on top of each other. And then just spiral back up, essentially creating like a little X pattern. Trim these butt ends, lift up, cut real tight, invert the fly. Now we're going to tie in our flash. This fly has two different types of flash. It has gold crystal flash and bronze flashaboo. Now what I'm going to do is in this bunch of crystal flash, I'm going to grab it right in the middle. We're going to lay it again, just like with the hair, kind of at a 45 degree on top of the hook shank now. Take one or two loose wraps, and now what we can do is we can take that bunch of flash and work it so it's right on top of the hook point. Now we'll bind them down. Work our flash back. Now we're going to cut it to length. Again, there's no hard and fast rule. I just want all my flash to be longer than the hair itself, so we'll cut it right about there. Now we're going to take this bunch of flash we have hanging off the front end of the hook and just fold it back. Again, bind it down, a couple, three wraps. Now we're going to take this bunch and cut it significantly shorter than that first bunch of flash, but not so, it's so short where it's going to be behind the hair. We just want to have nice staggered lines on the flash. We don't want all the flash to be the same length. Now we'll tie in the flash boo, same exact method, pinch off four or five strands of flash boo. Tie it in the exact same way, 45. Two loose wraps. Make sure all that flash is on top. And bind her down. Again, we're going to cut long first. We'll cut it about the same length as our longer bunch of gold crystal flash. Fold back the ends. If you notice, all this flash is different lengths. There's no straight lines in, in nature. Go back to our red fox. We want, we want this to be a little bit darker hair. We're going to look on the tail, try and find some hair with some dark tips. Again, cut off more than you think you need. Always easier to thin it out. I like a little bit of under fur in my wing, essentially, just so it's a little more bushy and it pulses in the water. But we still want a majority of that stuff out. I essentially just want these, this hair to match the length that's tied on the bottom of the fly, whether it be one and a half times the hook length, two times, whatever, as long as it's the same, that's kind of what I'm shooting for. Looks like that's about right. Just like we did with the first clump of foxtail. We're gonna take it, angle it up, 
lay it over on the side of the hook plus to us. Take one loose wrap, get that to roll on top of the hook, maybe take another loose wrap. And now we can kind of manipulate that hair a little bit. So I'm just going to use my thumbnail and spread that hair out just a little bit so it's riding even on the hook point or the hook shank and just bind her down. Lift up on the butt ends, slide your scissor down tight, cut them real short. Now we all do is just create our thread heads. We're just going to bury these chunks of hair. And it's all right to have a bulky thread head on this fly. You're tying in a bunch of materials in a relatively short piece of the hook. So we're just going to bind that hair down really well so it doesn't slip out. Make sure we're covering all those butts. I don't think the fish hair just kind of looks nicer. Okay, move our thread down to the hook, to the eye. And we're just gonna whip finish the thread. Random material stuck in there, I'll clean that out. I do it twice, I do a double five turn whip finish. I don't think it really matters, because I'm gonna end up gluing this head anyways. Cut the thread, and there you go. Completed. Foxy Red Flowers